The PGA Euro Pro Tour is back in 2014 with the best schedule yet, featuring the finest courses Britain has to offer. With 17 world-class venues, the tour visits the home of the Ryder Cup and will once again no doubt test the future stars at familiar venues. This year, playing over 370,000 yards of golf, our professionals will tour the length and breadth of the British Isles. With a host of young talent, the tour has never been so exciting, and 2014 is sure to uncover a new champion. With the biggest prize fund in its 12-year history, the PGA Euro Pro Tour is set to develop the future stars of golf for another year. Hello and welcome to the start of the 2014 PGA Euro Pro Tour. Coming up in the programme, we'll be previewing this spectacular lineup for the season and giving you a taste of what's to come this year. But first, let's recap. 2013 started with a bang for Dan Waite at Wensum Valley. Oh, he's done it. Brilliant. Finishing at one under par. The crowd at Asbury Hall were on tender hooks in May as James Hepworth defeated David Horsey on the first playoff hole. This particular title is now very firmly in the hands of James Hepworth. Burhill, event number three, saw one of the finest young golfers in Europe rise to the top. Richard Wallace gave a masterclass to one of the strongest fields of the year a week before shooting a 14-under world record. Collingtree Park in June witnessed a superb three rounds by Alex Belt to beat James Heath by one shot. That is some shot. The job, young Alex Belt, is well and truly done. For Elford Heath saw 2013 rookie New Zealander Harry Bateman come out on top. That was an absolute cracking putt, and he thought he had that bad boy. The banks of the Murray Firth saw former Order of Merit winner Paul McKechnie triumph in blistering sunshine. For the title. Brilliant celebration from Paul McKechnie. One of Ireland's golfing gems, Conqueror Wood, saw Marcus Armitage come of age as he won in spectacular style, playing in his maiden event on the PGA Euro Pro Tour. A momentous moment for Marcus Armitage, the 2013 Kingspan Conqueror Wood Open champion. A windswept week at Rowallan Castle didn't affect the game of Mark Lasky as he went on to win in the playoff against Tim Rice to secure the trophy. I mean, well done to Lasky, great win. Ma Hall saw David Coupland play an outstanding final round to secure the title after the second playoff in as many weeks. Congratulations to Dave Copeland, he seals the deal on the first playoff hole. A glorious week at Longhurst Hall witnessed one of the tour's former winners, George Woolgar, once again find his game to beat the field in fantastic style. George Woolgar is the Sweet Spot Classic champion. The Woosnam course at Dale Hill proved to be an excellent addition to last year's season, with Daniel Gavins finding the way to 12 under. Beautiful final round, nobody can touch it. The Oxfordshire hosted the PGA Euro Pro Tour back in August, 
George Woolgar pushed his game to the limits to beat William Harold in a playoff. Well, victory is finally here on the most dramatic of days at the Oxfordshire. George Woolgar wins the WPT Championship. The glorious shores of Montrose hosted the Eagle Orchid Scottish Masters in September. The crowds were entertained by Oliver Farr and Daniel Gavins fighting it out to the end, with Oliver Farr coming out on top. More Allerton saw another title slip away from Daniel Gavins as he once again lost out in the playoff, but this time to Billy Hemstock, another of our former winners. The 2014 Tour Championships was held at the world-class Prince's Golf Club in Sandwich, Kent. Oliver Farr showcased his talents to beat Daniel Gavins by one shot to secure the title. For the win on the order of merit, quite superb season from the Welshman and he finishes it in style with the Tour Championship title. So the 2013 order of merit looked like this, with Oliver Farr on top winning just over £33,000 and the top five names securing their cards on the Challenge Tour for the following season. Thoughts must go out to Richard Wallace, missing out by just £69 on an automatic promotion to the next level. And here we go, with 2014 looking like this, 17 courses making up what is sure to be an awesome year. We kick off the season with one of the world's most iconic golf venues, the Belfry. The Belfry Resort features three golf courses. The Brabazon is the main tournament course and will be the home for the PGA Euro Pro Tour this April. The headquarters of the Professional Golfers Association are also located here, as well as being the venue of the Ryder Cup on four occasions. The Belfry has staged 11 European Tour events. Our EuroPro golfers will be looking forward to playing the 10th. It's the hole made famous by Seve Ballesteros when he drove the green here in the 1985 Ryder Cup on the way to Europe claiming victory over the Americans. For event number two, the tour works its way north of the border to Montrose for the Eagle Orchid Scottish Masters. Montrose Golf Links is the fifth oldest golf course in the world. Founded in 1562, the course celebrated its 450th year in 2012. Sitting on the heart of the Carnoustie country, it's the second visit here for the Euro Pro Tour. Longhurst returns to the tour as event number three in May, this time teeing up on the Dawson course. Longhurst is one of Northumberland's best kept secrets. The scenic views and panoramic countryside show off this expansive Florida style golf course. With narrow fairways and carefully shaped greens, it's a test for even the best golfers. Following Longhurst, the Europro heads south to Surrey to Burhill for event number four. Established in 1907, there are two superb 18-hole courses here, and the PGA Euro Pro Tour will be playing on the new course this May. It's a magnificent example of modern golf design, incorporating a wealth of water hazards, bunkers and water features. The Astbury returns to the Tour for the second time this June, and is no doubt going to be a test of golf for the players once again.
designed by its owner, the rock and roll legend KK Downing. It established itself as one of the toughest challenges on tour. Tucked away in the heart of the Shropshire countryside, the Asbury is home to the 2011 Open champion, Darren Clark. Making its debut in 2014, the splendid Cumberwell Park is event number six. Cumberwell Park encompasses a wonderful blend of rolling countryside, lakes, streams and woodland. The contours of the landscape have shaped the design of this venue, which covers over 400 acres. It's an exciting new location for the Euro Pro Tour. Event number seven, Frilford Heath returns to the tour in the final week of June. The Euro Pro Tour plays on Frilford's most recent addition, the Blue Course, which opened in 1994. The par 72 layout matches up to Frilford's already high standards, and with its meandering par fours and testing undulating greens, the course proves to be a real challenge. One to watch in 2014 is Greg Payne. The left-hander from Chobham Golf Club finished just three back at Frilford Heath in 2013. He finished in the top 10 on nine occurrences last season on the tour, making 11 cuts and winning over 9,000 pounds. He's sure to make an impression once again on the tour this time round. To enter this year's tour, go to www.europro.tour.com Players need to have an official handicap of two or below, or be a professional golfer to enter. Join us after the break for more of what's to come on the PGA Euro Pro Tour in 2040. Welcome back to the PGA Euro Pro Tour season preview. We continue our show by looking at what you can expect to see during the forthcoming season. We have the very best in golf from up and coming stars of the future at some of the UK's most impressive courses. Our commentators, John Morgan and Andrew Coulthard, will be analysing players' swings and style. We'll bring you closer to the personalities on tour with in-depth interviews. Each course features flyovers, bringing you every angle and undulation of the trickiest holes on the tour. And there's more from the resident professional John Morgan, who'll be bringing his unique style to the series. It is world class. This is what we're made for. Life is a roller coaster. Just wanna fight it. Just get a butchers of this. Pristinely beautiful. And this is what it's all about, it's dripping off my nose. Get in there, under pressure. Lovely jubbly. Go ball. Bang, get in there, my son. Eagle, eagle. Yes. Happy days. Back of the stance, hands forward. Now this one could be pretty good. Here we go, up on. Look at this, go on if it goes in. Close the club face, it'll go in every time. Bonsai! I tell you what, boys and girls, I hope you learned some. And now to event number eight, situated on the banks of Loch Lomond. Cameron House and the Fairways of the Carrick are to host the PGA Euro Pro Tour in 2014 for the first time. stunning carrot course uses every inch of the dramatic landscape straddling the fault lines between the Scottish lowlands and highlands with nine holes set in each. Majestic backdrops brilliantly peppered with bunkers and of course the world's most beautiful water hazard, the Great Loch itself. It's a stimulating new course for the tour. We stay in Scotland for event number nine at the Royal Burges in Edinburgh.
Royal Burgess Golfing Society, founded in 1735 and is the oldest golfing society in the world and one of only 10 Royal Golf Clubs in Scotland. Rich in tradition, the mature Parkland course was originally designed by Willie Park Jr. Making our way across the Irish Sea, the tour heads to Conqueror Wood for event number 10. Against an absolutely breathtaking backdrop, Conqueror Wood drapes itself around tree-bound islands and along the shores of the loch. Designed by two of Ireland's golfing legends, Christy O'Connor Jr. and Sr., it's one of Ireland's most beautiful and evocative settings for golf. Staying in Ireland, we head south to another Christy O'Connor gem. Event number 11 is at Mount Wolseley. This lush championship parkland course with stunning views of the Carlow Mountains just outside Dublin is a new addition for 2014. Event number 12 sees the tour returning back to Leeds and the manicured fairways of Moor Allerton. Designed by Robert Trent Jones Sr., the world-famous American golf course architect, Moor Allerton's championship golf course is one of England's premier venues and now a regular feature on the PGA Euro Pro Tour. A real test of shot making puts our event number 13, Slady Hall, amongst the best courses on the tour this season. of European tour events here include the likes of Lee Westwood and Colin Montgomery. Slaley Hall sits among 1,000 acres of beautifully nurtured Northumberland Forest and is sure to host an outstanding event this August. Prince's returns to the schedule as event number 14. The windy conditions and superb links layout will certainly test our players once again. Set on the coast of the English Channel, Prince's is regarded as one of the most prestigious golf clubs in the world and counts the likes of Phil Mickelson and Gary Player amongst its honorary members. Prince's was the venue for the 1956 Curtis Cup and the 2006 Amateur Championships. However, it is most famous for hosting the 1932 Open Championship, which was won by the American Gene Sarazen. Sarazen debuted his newly invented sand iron at the tournament and his original club was on display at Prince's for many years. Another player to watch in 2014 is Nick McCarthy. He proved himself to be one of the most consistent players on the 2013 schedule, but sadly didn't manage to win an event. If he can cross that hurdle this year, he'll be a good bet for a top five finish and maybe even securing a challenge tour card in 2015. The penultimate event on the 2014 schedule is the Oxfordshire. Once again, the course that has staged the European Tour returns to test our players as event number 15.
The first course to be designed by Rhys Jones in the UK, it's a challenge for professional golfers. Strategically contoured holes, four legs and 135 bunkers make full use of the terrain and natural elements to provide characteristics similar to those of a Lynx course. The Oxfordshire hosted the European Tour for four years as well as the Ladies English Open and has been home to the PGA Euro Pro Tour for the past two seasons. Feature hole is the regular 17, which is normally played by the tour as hole number 8. The tricky but long par 5 has caught out the best players in the game and is sure to be a test for the leading professionals on the day. Our final one to watch this year is William Harold. William made big strides in 2013, making 8 cuts and just over £8,000 in career earnings for the season. He just missed out on taking the title at the Oxfordshire in a playoff to George Woolgar. He won the 2012 MENA Tour Finals, so certainly has the game to compete at the highest levels. The final course and event number 16 on the 2014 schedule is at Ma Hall. The fabulous Par 70 golf course has spectacular views of the River Clyde and the Kilpatrick Hills beyond. The new Earl of Mar Championship course is our last chance for players to gain their Challenge Tour card for the 2015 season. So here it is, the 2014 schedule with the Tour Championships in October to be confirmed this coming spring. Keep a close eye on what's happening and how to enter this year's Tour at www.europro-tour.com. We look forward to seeing you out on the course from all those at the PGA Euro Pro Tour. Thank you for watching.